Welcome, my friends, to the next part of this series. It's called the Logic Modules. And you may ask, why the plural? There is only one Logic Module there, now in December 2019. Well, this video deals with the Logic Module, of course, Logic Tool Module, but also with the Divider and the Signal Tool. That's what the plural in this title stands for. So, let's go for it. The real Logic Tool Module first. There are six logic functions implemented, but for demonstrating each of them, you need to know that a voltage of higher than two and a half volts is interpreted as a logic one or a logic high, and a voltage of less than two and a half volts is interpreted as a logic zero, a logic low by the module. Instead of one and zero, we can also call it high and low, so or true and false, or as you like. Let me show what that means. The Logic Tool module doesn't generally put out audio. It doesn't even lead audio through. It simply gives out a high signal or a low signal. The blue graph in the signal analyzer shows this, uh, the input signal, and the green one shows the module's output. If the change from high to low happens at audio rates, somewhat above 16 Hz, then we hear the sound of a pulse wave or a square wave. But we get this wave independently from the wave shape we feed in. Always, when the level of the input signal gets, or is, higher than 2.5 volt, the output switches to high, otherwise it switches to low. Let me replace the VCO by an LFO to make that even clearer. I insert an amplifier in both signal paths to get higher voltages. We can see the goings on better that way, just to avoid a misconception. There isn't any amplifier patched between the LFO and the logic tool module. But, hmm, why not? I can use an amplifier to change the high to low relation, the time a voltage of more than two and a half volt reaches the logic tool's input, and the time the voltage at this input is lower than two and a half volt by changing the amplification factor with the gain knob of the amplifier. With higher gain adjustments, the time the output delivers a high is longer, with lower gain adjustments it's shorter, and when the amplitude which comes out of the amplifier never reaches the magic border of 2.5 volts, then the logic tool delivers a permanent low. I haven't talked about a, sim uh, a single logic function uh, so far, uh, I know it, but uh, before I'm going to do so, I'd like to show you two applications of the principle, of the principle I've talked about so far. 
The first batch uses the sine wave or the saw wave or the triangle wave to open and close the gain of a VCA. Not slowly opening and closing, but opening it at once and completely or close. How to get this video? Well, pay an amount of your choice and get yourself the comprehensive tutorial. Oh, well, let's talk, call it a tutorial. You can download it then, it's yours. But you must please either copy it and give it to other people, nor send the download link to other people. The whole stuff is copyright. And here is how you get it. First, you donate via PayPal an amount of your choice, your choice, mention an email address you want the video link be sent to and write which video you want to view, uh, download, in the comments of your payment order. Second, PayPal sends your money, your email address and the title of your wanted video to me. Third, I'll send a link to your video to the email address you mentioned with your payment. Fourth, enjoy your video. You can download it now. If you are the owner of a lifetime license, you don't have to donate at all. Just send me an email with your name and the number of your license and, of course, the video, or even more than one, you want to watch or download. I'll send the link to you as described above. Have a great day and a good time. Rolf.